Welcome to the German Wolf Pack Vlogs, number 61 in the series. I am a German Wolf. Hey guys, what's going on tonight? The sun is still out, and it's like almost 6.45 here in Germany. Um, so, uh, I didn't do much. Today, I went with the French Wolf and the American Wolf um, to get some groceries. Um, but I went to I went to FYE, and I got two things, and I will show you what I got. Um, <clears throat> all right, I got um, the three. It's a Blu-ray set. <clears throat> it's the Born Identity, the Born Supremacy, and the Born Ultimatum. That's what I that that's what I got today at FYE. These are very excellent movies by um I can't think of his name of of Matt Damon. I like Matt Damon Matt Damon because he's, he's a good actor in these movies because in the previous video um my older brother the alpha wolf of England um I said that he took my DVD set of the of the Bourne movies and I need one back um and that one is called the Bourne Legacy that I want back. So I hope he um, brings that back to me. So that will complete my series on the Born series. Um, because I love spy movies with with Matt Damon and other spy movies as well, like Austin Powers. Um, I, I like that movie. Um, with I um with Mike Myers, um my my personal one is called Austin Powers the the spy who shagged me. I like that one the most. The the um the last one they did was okay. I don't really care for Gold Member. Um, he was kind of freaky, though. Uh, for Dr. Evil, I mean, um, you know, he was cool. You know, he was, he was always in Seth Green's, um, face all the time, in character, and saying, I'm not going to repeat what he said, but, you know, very cool. And... I bought a wrestling shirt. Right? And Grim from Grim's Toy Show. This is for you, buddy. It, you keep you keep saying that you that you like Finn Baylor. And I wanna show you I have to stand up for this. Hold on. Um I will show you what I got here. I mean, um, uh, get my shirt here. Come on, shirt. <laughs> All right, hold on. You know what? I'm gonna put you put you guys down near Ted for a minute so you can see it. There you go. There you go. All right, Grim from uh, Yo Grim from. Mom, Grim's Toy Show. This is your buddy that you like. Finn Baylor. And then on the back, it says Finn Baylor. I'm a huge fan of Finn Baylor because I like the Baylor Club that he's trying to pr produce. Um, he is the, the demon. Uh, the demon. King. That's what I like about him because he's cool. 
So that's what I got today. So, the Born series I got, and this. I was trying to get, like, um, um, a new album, but I couldn't find anything. I was trying to look for, for um, well, there was a, a Black Sabbath album, but I got, I got the Paranoid album, um, but the one I saw at FYE was, was, uh, <coughs> was different. Anyways, uh, you, you come with me, I'm gonna sit back down and talk to you guys. Uh, so, anyways, um, I did not go out for a walk today, but, I mean, I did, actually, but, like, walking to the store, walking to FYE, but not the way that I wanted to do. I could go out, like, around, like, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, uh, you know, do my walk, you know. So, I did not do that. Um, it's almost, like, 7 o'clock, one hour, I'm gonna walk Smackdown Live. Um, and I, uh, it's going to be John Cena versus Kinsuke Nakamura. And I'm thinking Kinsuke Nakamura, because I like him a lot. I mean, some wrestlers I like, some I don't like. <clears throat> but the guys who I remember was from the, from the 19, 1980s. Some Sam passed away. That's one guy who I re I really liked. Um, he used to wrestle for WCW. Uh, like, like in the nineteen eighties, like I think eighty eight, eighty nine, and WCW. Uh, his, his name was Flying Brian. I'm trying to think here. Give me a minute. Flying Brian Pillman. I always liked him because he was a good wrestler. Um, and then in like in '97, if I can remember, he was supposed to face Gold Dust at a pay per view of Bad Blood. Next thing I know, I um, I was on my computer, and it said that um that he passed away. Uh, and I and I. Every time that I remember a wrestler who passes away, my heart will sink. Will, will, will sink deep, and I will start to, you know, will start to cry, because I I love that wrestler so much. Like the guys who I remember was the Von Erich family. Only one Von Erich still lives and he's in Hawaii his, his real name is Kevin well uh, everyone knows him as Kevin Van Erich and, he, and he's the only Van Erich living um his his brothers passed away due to um, complications I don't want to say on what they actually did because I don't want to scare you guys or anything else. I plus the junkie dog. He was going to a a funeral. He was coming back. Next thing I know, he gets into a car accident and passes away. And I used to watch him back in in the nineteen eighties. He used to come out with, with a dog chain and. He would do this dance with a dance with his knees or something. Um, and it, and even my personal favorite, um, I I want to give a shout out to a wrestler named Brett the Hitman Hart. I always liked him, and I also loved Owen Hart because I remember when Owen Hart debuted. It was nineteen eighty. 1988, and he was he was the Blue Blazer, and he was in his tag team match, and he was under a, a mask. Um. 
And I loved Owen because he's a good wrestler, good technician, good high flyer. And I want to say to his wife, Martha Hart, that I loved Owen on my heart. Oh, okay. And, and I want to, and I, <clears throat> and I want to give my respects to Owen Hart and his family. Um, <clears throat> I, I, I liked Owen. He was, okay. Okay. He was, let's put this right, he was awesome. And then, I think he was in, uh, like, in the 2000s, about Eddie Guerrero. This guy was amazing. He used to wrestle in Japan, ECW, WCW, and then 1999 comes. He comes with some other wrestlers um, as the tag team or stable called the called the Radicals. Uh, um, it was Perry Saturn, Eddie Guerrero. I'm not gonna say the other guy's name because I don't wanna. Um, you know what I'm going to say, so, um, so, that's what I'm saying about these wrestlers. I mean, I watched them all my life, and, <clears throat> and I enjoyed it. Um, look at, um, look at, look at, uh, Kevin Van Am's brother, Carrie, for example. He won. I don't know. Let's put it this way. He debuted for the W for the W. Uh, hold on. W W F in nineteen ninety ninety one maybe. I think it's ninety one. I think he comes in with a, with a bang and won the Intercontinental title away from Kurt Henning, and I was happy for him. Next thing I know. Um, he, he goes back, uh, like in 93 maybe, he goes back to Texas. Something happened. I'm not going to say anything about that. I, I know what happened, but I'm not going to no, tell you guys. And, anyways, that's what I'm saying. Every wrestler who I know all passed away. And I'm giving my respects to Owen Hart and Eddie Guerrero. For Eddie Guerrero, let's put it this way. He was the best. He was the Latino Heat. He had Shina as his manager. It was awesome. I used to... I have a DVD I'm going to review. Um, it's called Best of, of the, Best of the 2000s. Uh, tomorrow, um, after this video, I'm going to do a, a hockey video. Uh, please watch these videos. It's important. And you guys don't. Um, favorite, like, and share. And subscribe to The Wolf. Um, it, okay, if you are not done with me or the Alpha Beast, we say this to you. Please, please support this channel and please support Eddie, Gu Eddie Guerrero, Owen Hart, and some other wrestlers who I enjoyed. Please. I don't like to cry on camera because I know what you guys would think that I am a, I am stupid. So, I am not stupid. I know what I want to talk about. I want to talk about wrestling and what I did today. Don't forget, Wolf out.